Thank you. Uh, good, good morning, morning. Uh, honorable uh, moderators and uh, fellow uh, Sages members and co uh, fa uh, colleagues. Um, I'd like to thank Sages for giving me the opportunity to give this talk today. Uh, our, uh, our project is on a policy of universal cholecystectomy for acute cholecystitis, validating the Tokyo Guidelines 2013, a single center experience. Uh, none of the authors have uh, not anything to disclose. Uh, I'll be talking, talking about, about the background, background then going, going into the methods, methods results, uh, discussion, discussion, and then uh, concluding. Um, um, in regards to uh, gallbladder disease, uh, 10 to 20 percent of adults in the Western world develop gallstones at some point, and this increases with age as time passes. Uh, one to four percent of these people will develop uh, acute cholecystitis uh, symptoms in, that, in a given year. Uh, the, the Tokyo, Tokyo guidelines, guidelines are international, international guidelines that were created as a consensus back in 2007 and revised in 2013 for the classification and management of acute cholecystitis. So uh, they created the severity grading for acute cholecystitis. They have three grades, uh, grade one being uh, your mild acute cholecystitis. Uh, grade two is your moderate acute cholecystitis where they have elevated white cell count or a tender mass in the right upper quadrant or complaints uh, greater than 72 hours or some form of local inflammation. And grade three is when there's organ dysfunction, uh, which can be cardiovascular, neurological, respiratory, or renal. So uh, they created the management for these three grades. Uh, grade one is antibiotics and supportive care followed by early laparoscopic cholecystectomy. Uh, grade two is antibiotic supportive care and emergency surgery by uh, specialized HPV surgeons or uh, delayed uh, elective laparoscopic cholecystectomy if uh, antibiotics are successful. If uh, there's a failure in therapy, then do urgent uh, percutaneous drainage. Uh, grade three, they suggest to do antibiotics and do early drainage. These were revised in 2013. So our study was to determine if early cholecystectomy is safe and feasible for all grades of acute cholecystitis, especially grade two and grade three patients. So this was a retrospective study that was approved by our institutional board. Uh, basically, we diagnosed patients with acute cholecystitis over a 14-month period from January 2014 to February 2015 through the electronic health records. Uh, Tantok Singh Hospital is a 1,500-bed uh, university-affiliated teaching hospital in Singapore. Uh, all general surgeons, uh, except the breast, plastic, vascular, and thoracic surgeons, perform laparoscopic cholecystectomy. Uh, we perform about an estimated 700 laparoscopic cholecystectomy a year for gallbladder disease. Uh, and our, our department has adopted a policy of early laparoscopic cholecystectomy for all grades of acute cholecystitis who are considered operable. So all patients uh, were diagnosed with acute cholecystitis uh, with imaging and based on the Tokyo guidelines. Uh, patients, patients uh, with previous episodes of acute cholecystitis uh, managed conservatively, in, uh, conservatively initially, but recurred with uh, cholecystitis were included as well. Exclusion criteria were patients that had biliary colic, cholangitis, gallstone pancreatitis. So in regards to our study, uh, medical records were reviewed and all these uh, patients satisfying the inclusion criteria were chosen. We analyzed the demographics, presentation, investigations, operative findings, uh, were recorded. Uh, uh, patients were then graded into the severity of acute cholecystitis based on the Tokyo Guidelines 2013. And then surgical outcomes were analyzed for all patients and uh, analysis was done. So uh, in our study, over that 14-month period, 149 patients uh, underwent emergency laparoscopic cholecystectomy for acute cholecystitis. Grade 1 was uh, 84, grade 2 was 49, and grade 3 had 16 patients. <coughs> Um, so, uh, this, uh, in this slide, uh, the age group uh, was similar in all three grades. Uh, there is an equal distribution of males and females in the study. Uh, and uh, here are the other comorbidities. In regards to the results, uh, of the 84 patients, one patient went for percutaneous drainage, but uh, the other 82 patients went for uh, early laparoscopic cholecystectomy within the first three to four days of hospital admission. Uh, they were discharged home in about two to three days, uh, the mean being 2.6. Um, grade two, uh, there was one patient that went for percutaneous drainage. Uh, out of the 49, 44 went for early uh, uh, laparoscopic cholecystectomy, and they were discharged home in about four days. 
on average, and uh, grade three of the 16 patients, 10 went for uh, early laparoscopic cholecystectomy, whereas five went for percutaneous drainage, followed by laparoscopic cholecystectomy. Um, in terms of conversion, uh, grade one actually had a higher conversion from, uh, uh, sorry, subtotal cholecystectomy was done higher in grade one, uh, and conversion, uh, there was higher in grade two. Uh, in, in terms, terms of complications, complications uh, there was a CBD injury in one uh, patient in grade two. Uh, otherwise, in terms of uh, post-operative complications, uh, were minimal. About two for grade two, one, uh, two for grade two, and one for grade three. Uh, there was uh, one mortality, but this was non-surgical cause. Uh, it was a pneumonia for a patient that was waiting for rehab after the surgery. Uh, advantages, advantages of early laparoscopic, basi basically, basically uh, from our results, we can say that uh, advantages of early laparoscopic cholecystectomy based on a study that it's safe and feasible. There's low morbidity and uh, no mortality rates. Uh, there's reduction in length of hospital stay, and there's a lower level of postoperative complications. So there's previous studies that support in the literature for early, uh, early laparoscopic cholecystectomy. Uh, Mello et al. published in 2011 that percutaneous cholecystectomy and uh, 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 laparoscopic cholecystectomy were effective for the management. Uh, there's just a slightly higher 90-day mortality for cholecystectomy, about 16%. But the overall complication for cholecystectomy was much lower compared to percutaneous cholecystectomy. Uh, Crew et al. Uh, in two, uh, 2014 found that the hospital stay was shorter compared to delayed surgery, and uh, the, uh, they concluded that this can be safely performed within the first five days of admission. Uh, another study, Minutol, uh, found that the total hospital stay was also shorter in the group that received early surgery. And then a recent study uh, out in uh, New Zealand found that uh, early cholecystectomy in grade two and grade three was feasible with low morbidity and no mortality. Uh, local surgical complications were comparable between the emergency group and it's safe and feasible. The limitations of our study that it's a small sample size. Uh, in total, we had 149 patients over that 14 month period. Uh, this, uh, this means that there's a poor estimate of the true morbidity and mortality rates, hence possibly it might be an inadequate power uh, to detect the differences between the groups. Uh, but nonetheless, we feel that our study adds to the literature, uh, and this was also a retrospective study. Um, so our conclusion is early laparoscopic cholecystectomy is safe and feasible for moderate and severe cholecystitis with low morbidity and mortality based on our study. Although a moderately high conversion rate from laparoscopic cholecystectomy to openness to be encountered, it should be not considered a failure of surgery management. Laparoscopic subtotal cholecystectomy should be widely adapted to reduce the open conversion. Uh, our findings indicate that percutaneous cholecystectomy should only be considered in patients who are not a uh, surgical candidate. Uh, we feel that additional larger studies to corroborate our findings before revision of the Tokyo guidelines should be considered. And this is our suggested algorithm for acute cholecystitis. So for all three grades, antibiotics and supportive care followed by early sur uh, surgery. Uh, if they're not a candidate, then for early uh, drainage. Uh, if, they if they become a surgical, surgical candidate, then offer laparoscopic cholecystectomy at a delayed or interval state. Thank you. Thank you.